What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for AKW q &A. Now this week we're going to be answering the questions you guys left over the last like month or so. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded last. Um, basically I've been, I've been in Hawaii over the last couple of weeks and so I haven't been able to record videos. Um, I did get some videos out for you guys, my glitches video, my card clasher video, my blaze binder video, and my uh, top 5 soloing classes were all pre-recorded videos that I uh, obviously recorded before I went away to Hawaii. But I'm back now, um, I actually got sick during this week so I couldn't record, my voice was all fucked because of my throat, but now it's all back, it's, it's, uh, my, my sickness is gone, I'm back from Hawaii, so I'm back ready to record videos. So I've got some questions this week to answer from you guys, so without any further ado, let's get into those questions. Well. First of all, I need you guys to leave questions in the comment section down below, as always, but yeah, let's, let's just get into the questions. Now, our first question this week is coming from Denzel from my Discord server, and he asks, how many hours a week do you spend playing AQW? So this is an interesting question because uh, at the moment, I'm currently farming for level 85. Um, I'm farming at school, um, basically during classes where I'm not really doing much. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of suffering on my schoolwork because of it. But, you know, level 85 is more important. Um, I've got plenty of XP boosts. I'm just chucking those XP boosts on, farming whenever I can on my phone at school. Um, so I'm spending at least, you know, four or five hours a day on AQW at the moment. Um, during Void High Lord, it was actually during school break where I farmed that. And so I was spending up to nine hours, 10 hours each day playing AQW. But sometimes, you know, during times when there's really nothing to farm, there's nothing I, I really need to do in AQW specifically, I'm sitting there and I'd, I really don't play much for a couple of days at a time. You know, I won't I won't actually log in and play for, you know, two to three days at a time. And often I can, I have pre-recorded footage ready. So, you know, it's often weeks at a time where I don't have to play AQW. So it just really depends on the situation and, uh, you know, what's what's needed to be done. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you see it, uh, at the moment it's level 85 that I gotta farm and that's pretty pretty difficult. So I'm, uh, I'm level 76 at the moment, if you're wondering. So I'm, I'm getting there, but uh, you know, got a way to go yet. Our next question is coming from Roleplaying Chink. And uh, it's their name, not, uh, not mine. <laughs> I didn't make that name. Um, and they asked, how much money have you spent on AQW? So that's a really interesting question because honestly, I have no idea. Um, honestly, it's probably over a thousand, I'd say. Uh, it, there's really no way of knowing. Um, I've bought at least three years of membership, um, and over 200,000 ACs. Uh, you know, I've gotten high price items like, uh, you know, um, Legion Paladin and stuff, and I backed, uh, AQ3D for 120 bucks. So, you know, it's, it's a, it's, there's a lot of money here and there, uh, on other things as well. So it's probably over a thousand, probably more like two, two grand sort of thing. I don't know, it's probably, it's a worthy investment, and, uh, you know, <sighs> I don't know if I regret it or not, uh, either way, that's, I think, I think that's how much, I don't know, it's just a rough estimation. Our next question is coming from Ryu, Ryu, I don't know, uh, either way, they asked, if you won the custom weapon giveaway, what would you suggest, a custom weapon raffle giveaway? So, I presume you're talking about the one where you can get a custom weapon, uh, you know, the, like the fully custom weapon, like you don't have to uh, do anything. You literally just get a custom weapon that's just your own design. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, what I'd do with that is I would get a custom weapon. I'd ask for like a, um, I'd probably ask for a color custom weapon um, that was something, something familiar. So like maybe, I don't know, something that, that would, I could easily put with my set. So I guess... I guess I could ask for a fully custom, color custom Dragon Blade. That would be cool. Uh, maybe something Nolgath. I don't know. A fully custom, color custom Nolgath Blade. What would it be? What would that be? What's a cool Nolgath Blade? I don't know. Probably just a fully color custom Dragon Blade, to be honest. That'd be cool. Our next question is coming from Templar. And they asked, thoughts on the level cap increase to level 85? So like I mentioned earlier, I think I mentioned it. I don't know. I've re-recorded this like six times now. Um... My my current level is like 76, so I'm I'm on the way to level 85. Um, honestly, my thoughts are so far it's just made made people more OP, which is not a good thing. Um, they really need to start compensating in terms of the monsters. Monsters should be, have you know more of a challenge. Like I keep saying, monsters need to be more challenging in the game. Otherwise, the game gets boring, and it's just a matter of of spending time rather than you know skill. You know, and there's nothing nothing in this game currently requires you to uh, really think too hard or, you know, um, strategize or do anything outside of just waiting. 
You know what I mean? This game has become a waiting game. Just a matter of pressing the number two, three, and four key in the right order over and over and over and over again until that monster says it's dead and then do the same thing again and again and again and again. In my opinion, that's not fun. But if that monster you're trying to kill actually poses a challenge and you have to actually, you know, think about what you're doing and uh, engage yourself in the game, then that makes the game fun. It sounds bad on the surface. It sounds like, oh shit, well everything gets harder. Well, that's bad. You know, it takes longer to do everything. But if they just, if they maybe compensate in terms of skill, I mean, in terms of quest requirements, so they make quests easier but monsters harder, then not only are you reducing the amount of grinding, but you're making the game. So you might make something take the same amount of time because the monster takes longer to kill, but the quest takes shorter to complete, but you're making people have more fun in the process. It's more of a challenge in the process, so therefore people have more fun, so therefore your game is better. That is what I would like with AQW. Increasing the level cap does the opposite, makes people even more OP and monsters even less of a challenge. So in my opinion, this is a really bad thing. They could have done a lot more to improve the game rather than just increase the level cap, but whatever. I guess it just means that a whole bunch of people now have more grinding to do, which for some people is really good. In my opinion, that's bad, but whatever. It's not really um, my position to change that, so I guess I, all I can do is suggest that, hey, maybe you should increase the difficulty of monsters, and really that's all I can do. And finally this week, our last question is coming from uh, Baris Kaya? Baris Kaya? I don't know. Um, and they asked, I don't know if you joked or not, but are you gay? I'm confused. So, uh, yeah, it's a joke. I, I'm not actually gay. I've, I've, I've engaged in relationships with women before, so I, I'm, I'm not gay. But, however, I would like to mention that that was supposed to be like an elaborate joke. Uh, however, people have obviously not, not clued in. I don't know. The whole plan was that, right? Was to, was to save one episode that I'm, that I'm gay. And then the next episode say I'm not, and the next episode say I am, and the next episode say I'm not. All that really happened as a result of me starting off this joke was that people thought I was gay, and then people didn't, I guess, believe me, or watch the, the video that followed it or something. I don't know. Either way, no matter how many times I said I wasn't gay, or, you know, it was only once, but, you know, I said I wasn't gay in the next episode, and then... People still are asking me if I'm gay or not. So I'm going to put this to rest right now. And I'm probably going to put this in every following Q&A video for the next while. And say, I am not gay. I am definitely 100% not gay. Um, but I don't have a problem with people that are gay. For your information. I'm not not saying I have anything against being gay. But I'm, I'm not. So, yeah. Uh, either way, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um... If you do want to leave any questions in the comment section down below or in my Discord server, wherever you want really, just get in contact with me and ask me a question um, and uh, I'll perhaps answer it in the next video. I'm pretty pretty likely to at this stage because I really don't have many questions that I can answer most, uh, most days when I go to record this. So uh, by all means, anywhere, any platform you want really, just ask me questions. I do have a dedicated uh, channel in my Discord server um, for people asking Q&A questions, which is where I get a lot of my questions from because it's just like, you know, I go in there and uh, ask people to leave questions and they do. Um, but either way, leave a like, leave, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.